Hello Aries and welcome to your 1111 portal reading. I am sorry this is coming out on 1111 but um, my granddaughter gave me a cold so I am not feeling the best but this 1111 portal Aries is a nine. It is time for completions, endings, tying up loose ends, the um, full receiving of different lessons that you've been working on in your soul cycle. There's a lot that's going to change for you guys between this portal, 1111 2021, to next year's portal, 1111 2022. And that's the span this reading covers. All right. So it's all about the completions, the endings, the things that must be released so that you can blossom and expand. There's so much waiting for you on the other side of this portal, especially in a spiritual sense. All right, let's pull you a card here, Aries. Okay, we have Crystal Ascension. Yeah, there's a lot that is awakening inside of you, Aries over the course of this next year. I am attuned to the universal wisdom and energy of the Crystal Kingdom. This is healing, this is illumination, wisdom, knowledge, bubbling up from the depths of your soul, from everything that you've been working on. This is gonna be a powerful time for you over the course of this next year. And it, I feel like um, there's aspects of yourself that you are reclaiming and I like this the all the green in this card and this is fluorite which is about the healing Transformation. This is a year of great transformation. What this portal activates within you. The fairy tells you to surrender to a transformation in your life that's happening for your highest good. Embrace your transformation. The best is yet to come. Have no fear. Have no sadness, Aries. All that's shifting and changing over this year is for your highest good. Aligning you to the better that you have been asking for. That one is your message. That's the one that wanted to come out. Let's see what it says. Ooh, look at that. I welcome. And the image, see, you're stepping through the portal and everything that comes through the portal, Spirit is saying, welcome it with open arms because it's ultimately leading to your highest good. I welcome life as it presents itself to me. Today, I take each step on my path to fulfill with good faith. I swim easily with the flow of life. I embrace all experiences the universe bestows upon me, even those that may prove challenging. I know all will fall into place for my greater good. Yes, and so you've got this message times two, and also with this uh, crystal ascension, tending your energy, your spirit, your mind, your heart, your body is very important over the course of this next year, Aries. Um, there's lots of Reiki meditations, regular meditation, sleep meditations on YouTube that you could utilize to really help keep your energy balanced and remind you that all things are happening right now for you to truly transform into the butterfly. All right, let's pull you some tarot. The world a brilliant success the freedom to go in any direction a journey that is now complete spirit just keeps coming through 
um, with these confirmations that a lot is changing and shifting over this year and it's happening because you are transforming nine of spring protect the fruits of your labor prepare for possible challenges that lie ahead environmental conservation so this would be the nine of wands you're determined aries nothing is going to stop you and now we have the high priestess trust your intuition careful reflection before taking action insight that comes through meditation yeah you need those meditation um, moments right now where you really connect to spirit I fell for your own sanity um, five of autumn reach out to others for assistance poor timing for career change feeling challenged by money issues now all of these cards that came out I'm like why isn't this all fitting it fit in the last readings Maybe if I pull it down a little bit. Okay. So the world starts this row. And the world is the completion, right? The completion of the Nine of Wands, which is a lot of soul lessons you've been working on. Completion on the confusion, the not knowing, the feeling separated. The completion on feeling rejected, uh, feeling like you don't have enough abundance. Okay, all of that is shifting for you over this next year, Aries. You've done a lot of work at the soul, and this 1111 portal is like the finish line for you. Princess of Autumn, studious, responsible, cheerful, mischievous. Happy news about your career, promotions, or scholarships. Well thought out plans go perfectly, needing a little push to get going see here it is coming through as the page of pentacles the start of better things more stability more resources more abundance oh and now you've got the magician you can do anything take charge of your life you can manifest what you need to be a success beautiful see aries it's all changing for you guys this is such a temporary energy and experience, even if it feels so big. Oh, wow, you got Nine of Cups next, wishes come true, dreams fulfilled, a magical time of life. And, oh, the star. Look to the future with hope and optimism, the power of faith to move mountains, happy changes that bring relief from challenging times. Oh, right. I would like to point out that these three, the challenging cards, is what's completing, what's ending in your life, okay? And it ends with um, happy changes that bring relief from challenging times. That is so beautiful. Spirit was so synchronistic and all the cards that have come out for you. You have been going through it, Aries, absolutely. A lot of struggle, a lot of challenge, and since this is a general read, you know, it could really um, indicate any area of your life. I do see a lot around money, finances, career for some of you, but again, it's not just that. Where have you been challenged the most? Just feeling like you don't know what to do, you don't have any options, there's just no way forward, you feel like you're spinning your wheels, because that's where you're having this transformation the strongest, okay? And then, boom, you're stepping through the portal, and here's this shift where the energy becomes stable and solid, and you're feeling magical, and things are finally happening and moving. The Nine of Cups and the Star are the wish cards. The lower, the higher. You got both side by side, so there is a lot of little blessings throughout this next year that bring you great happiness and then there is a big happy blessing success accomplishment that is going to unfold for you guys um, between this portal and next year's portal life is going to get easier Aries as you um, every day beyond today 11 11 when I'm recording this each day is going to get a little bit easier a little bit lighter until finally you are on the other side and you're looking back at this journey and you're just like wow I am a rock star I went through hell and back but here I am stronger wiser 
secure than I was before and also a lot more abundance of energy around you whether that's money that's um, connections with others uh, love for self it's just whatever has been the struggle for you it's no longer your issue your primary focus that energy has worked itself out and you're feeling balanced you're feeling in harmony and you have these beautiful blessings Aries um, it's like the year of hell turns into the year of heaven, okay? And maybe for some of you are like, um, sister, it's been more than a year of hell. However long this process has been for you, this portal is the moment of the shifting energy where everything begins to start changing. And, you know, maybe for some of you, boom, it is instantaneous, okay? But I feel for the majority of you, this is something that unfolds over the course of this next year and it's a, a beautiful release and change and then it's like you're emerging into this happiness confidence stability harmony and you're feeling more at peace with yourself with your life than you have in quite some time it's like the year of hell is over aries you've done the work you've walked through the fire And that's what those endings are for you. That really hard stuff that you've been up against. Yeah, Ace of Autumn. A windfall of money, advice, or assistance from others. A very successful project. A happy change in career. I mean, the Ace of Pentacles is an always always welcomed energy aries prince of spring charming self-confident passionate restless immediate action a challenge you can successfully manage a passionate relationship and this to me is that big burst of energy coming over you and it's like life returns in full force yes ten of cups ten of summer an emotionally fulfilling life with family or friends raising children wisely people you can trust. Ten of Summer is also a very welcome card at any time. Okay, that is all about your ultimate happiness, emotional stability. You've got the Nine and Ten of Cups. Life is going to get good. Aries, I can't em emphasize enough. The year of hell is over. You've, you've faced a lot. You've won the ba battle, you've won the challenge, even if you feel defeated in this moment. No, you are victorious. This Nine of Wands is saying you've been learning a lot of soul lessons. There's a lot that's been thrown at you. You need to be easy on yourself. Don't beat yourself up, okay? You could not have done better than you have done. Spirit's saying that now in your reading. And because of how well you have weathered the storm, that you have endured the purification of the completion of a major soul cycle. You have nothing but positive cards to come that talk about the year ahead. Where you've been, oh, it's been hectic, it's been hell, but the world, you are complete. And now it's beautiful, it's not to say there will never be any challenges up ahead, but it's nothing like where you have been and what you've been going through, oh no. It's time for a breather. It's time for happiness. It's time for stability. The year of hell is over, Aries, and I cannot be happier to see that for you guys. I've been there. I've done that. Oh, it's like every bit of you is sucked dry, and you're like, what, what could happen next, right? Maybe even some of you are saying, I'm not even going to say what else could go wrong. Because every time I do, something happens. You're just like, I'm done, I'm done. You are, Aries. It's time for great healing. It's your ascension, okay? So don't take anything personally. Relinquish self-importance. Personal importance or taking things personally is the maximum expression of selfishness because we make the assumption that everything is about me now what i'm feeling about this aries 
is you've been in this space because of what's been happening. Like, it's just, it sucks. Like, it sucks to be me. I, why? This is unfair. Am I cursed? Do I have bad karma? Did somebody cast a negative spell on me? Like, what is up? And Spirit is saying no. And it's, oh, wow, this is so interesting. It's now time for Aries to be selfish, okay? It's time for Aries to put Aries first. It's not about everybody else anymore. It's not, okay? Regardless of what they say, think, or feel, Aries, no. You've done your work. It's time for you to live your life and be happy. Regardless of what anybody else has to say, think, or feel, no. They need to relinquish their thoughts of being more important in your world than they are. And it's not to say that you don't love and that people aren't important to you. But I feel that through these lessons, you've really been pulled apart and a bit sucked dry by certain people. And it's because they think that you owe them something, you know, and you don't. You don't. Um, anything of that energy was attached to the soul lesson you were working on, you've completed it, and now you your soul just won't tolerate it. You are finally going to start putting yourself first and no longer taking it personally what people say or think or feel about you doing you, whereas in the past, it really did impact you and bother you. You uh, have no Fs to give because you are transforming into the butterfly, and you're like, I am out of here. I'm going to live life. There's too much happiness. There's too much joy. There's too much good unfolding for me to hear all this noise. Gratitude. Everything will be all right. Fairies dance in your delight. That is beautiful, Aries. Yes. It's going to get good. The year of hell is over and any of them demons that have been haunting you, they are about to fall away and you just are not going to care anymore. It's such a beautiful release for you. So those are your messages, Aries. I am sending you lots of love and light. Take care.